problem tricked me at first, um, but we have four cars, blue, red, and green and yellow. <clears throat> We're trying to figure out who finished in what place. <clears throat> so we are given a bunch of facts about the race, about who finished where. And <clears throat> we're given names and colors of cars. We know here that Jennifer finished directly behind Pierre, which means that if Pierre is here, Jennifer is directly behind, so there's no one in between. That's useful. The red car finished before the green car. Okay. Charles was not in the blue car. Pierre was in the red car, so I can match up Pierre with red. And let me use this R right here more colorful. <clears throat> and we have these three cars to think about. I'm going to cross out the facts as I use them. So Stephanie, who was in the yellow car, finished after Jennifer. So now we're almost done. Oops. The yellow car is behind Jennifer. We don't know if it's directly behind. But we do know that Stephanie is in the yellow car. So there's only two cars left, and it told us that Charles was not in the blue car. <clears throat> so that means that Jennifer has to be in the blue car. And we have one more piece of information. That the red car finished before the green car. <clears throat> so if the red car finished before the green car, then the green car can be here or here. And we know that Charles is in this car. So let's just write that. Here's Charles. So he's either in third or last. In both situations, the green car is behind the red car and the blue car. And that's our answer, actually based only on the information above, which of the following statements has to be true. And that's A. The blue car finished before the green car. The green car could be in two spots, but in both cases, it's behind the blue car. <clears throat>